All right, let's get you set with some movies to watch this weekend. Real Talk is thanks to our sponsors, MJR Digital Cinemas, and Greg Russell is back in the building with Yay. us today. Thank you for being here. Thank you, as always, for having me. I love it. Well, you always get us set up with the right <laughs> things to see on the weekend. So let's mm -hmm. start with the new movie starring Harrison Ford, The Call of the Wild. Yeah, actually, the real star is the dog. And what it's all about is here's a dog who was living in California, enjoying the great life in the 1800s. Then all of a sudden the gold boom starts mm -hmm. in Canada. So he goes up there to the Yukon. And so he's drafted to be basically, uh, you know, a sled leader and all mm -hmm. like that. And Harrison Ford befriends him. And it's kind of like, you know, a dog and his man story. Love it. We have a clip. Come here. This is a map of the Yukon. My son was always reading adventure stories. He's crazy about the news coming out of the Yukon. It wasn't the gold, he didn't care about that, it was the mountains. He spent all day looking at maps and, and pictures of the mountains, dreaming about what was on the other side. Places no one had been. Wild places. We could go. You and me. Ooh la la, this looks like a good dramatic movie that would suck you in. Right. So what are you hearing about this I'm, one? I'm hearing, like you said, that the computer generated animals are like unbelievable. Really? Because when I first saw the commercial, I'm going, wait a minute, this dog, there's something that looks a little different, but I'm thinking okay. he's just a big dog. I love it. And, and also I, I look at it as this is what Indiana Jones would do if he retired, Got he'd it. move to the Yukon, <laughs> and just hang out and get a dog and have fun. That makes a lot of sense. Now, this is based on the Jack London book, <laughs> correct, right? Correct. Because I was like, Call of the Wild, that sounds familiar. Now, here's the big question, though. Yes. Do you think that this is going to beat out Sonic the Hedgehog at the box office? Ooh. Quick yes or no, or you don't know? I don't know. Probably, I mean, not. Depends on who's going to go see it. Okay. Because this like one is for kids. Movie. It's a PG movie. Yeah, right? it looks a like a great family movie. Mm -hmm. um, so there's also a new movie out on Netflix. Yes. This is something that fits perfectly into Black History Month. Tell us about it. It's a great uh, series they've got called They've Gotta Have Us. Documentary on blacks in cinema starting at the turn of the last century up till now. Okay. And it's got so many interesting stories, so many different things. And it's just kind of funny the way how they had to do things in movies back in the day. Mm -hmm. Where, you know, certain parts or certain things couldn't be close, so they had to, you know, just have it all around. And then also Robert Townsend talking about making Hollywood shuffle. We all know that great story, yes. getting the credit cards and blowing them up. Absolutely, absolutely. Now we have a clip for this mm -hmm. as well. There was only one kind of story that would get made. Thug number two, the slaves. Prostitute. The hustle. Literate basketball players. <laughs> I didn't think I could make films. That was something that people who were better than me did. And when I saw the face pop up, first thing I was just like, what, black, black? <laughs> When people see themselves, they engage. Everybody goes, well, let's make seven Black Panthers because the color that they really care the most about is green. Child. That, How wow. you like that, huh? So there's a lot of honesty in this documentary, <clears throat> oh, would you say? Absolutely. And for anyone who is into film, you will enjoy this. I mean, I've watched it like three or four times already. I, you know, and I've been seeing it on Netflix. I will be watching the entire thing Great. this weekend. So how many reels for this one? Four. Cool. That's right. That's big coming there from you. There you go. Four. That's big coming from this guy right here. Like I said, really good. Okay, I can't really wait to good. watch it. We can compare notes next week. Okay. All right, so now tell us about the giveaways that you have. These are five stars right here with the giveaways. Frozen 2 is coming out on digital and yes. Blu-ray. People can't wait for this. That's right. So we have got two dolls, how you like that, mm -hmm. from the movie Collector's Dolls. Ooh. And then also this really nice bag. And this is what, Olaf? Yes. Okay. Okay. We've got one uh, doll of him. Also, a digital download for you, so you can get that right now and Very start cool. watching the movie. This is a great giveaway. Yeah. And your own little diary. And like oh, I said, just this frozen journal. Little frozen journal. Dear diary, today I let it go. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know why I said that. <laughs> If I were eight years old, that's what I would write. All right. I'm letting it go, diary. I'm done. <laughs> to enter done. to win Greg's giveaways. <laughs>
Just Wash my hands and feet of you. Yes. <laughs> Just go to our Live in the Deep Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. Contest <laughs> rules are posted there as well. To see a list of the showtimes at a MJR Digital Cinemas near you, go to their website, mjrtheaters.com.